Hey. Hello, everyone. Well, you still have food in your mouth, so go ahead. That's fine. It's real, authentic. Hello, hello everyone. everyone hello hello welcome if you're new for the first time we say oh, welcome and if you're not new welcome back so life lately slow chat slow chat because we are in our currently in our second trimester as a matter of fact as we're recording this video right now we are exactly at the halfway mark mm. 20 weeks of pregnancy what Thank a miracle Lord. what a miracle i mean 20, 20 weeks of a child yeah. So we're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. Just life lately, what's been going on, how pregnancy is going, stuff that we're experiencing, learning, questions, all the good stuff. Okay, Daddy. As you can see, some of us like to eat chocolate covered I don't even like this. It's too bitter. Dark chocolate covered almonds. But blah. So, what cravings have you had? Oranges. Okay. And then, of course, sweets, but like, not sweets like all the time, mm -hmm. but like a couple times here and there, I want something sweet. Sometimes I want some, usually once a week, I want like a sweet, mm -hmm. like cookies and like ice cream. Mm -hmm. But usually in the in-between time, if I get something sweet, like, like today I got the, the favorite day brand too, but it's like the graham crackers in a pretzel shape and dipped in milk chocolate, the couple of the, you know, that's not as like decadent as like a Cinnabon. But the other week I wanted to send them. So yeah. and best believe I've been eating them snacks. Yeah, well you didn't she eat the cinnamon. Yeah, some stuff I'll be like, I'm good. I'm trying to I'm trying not to be due to my ass. Yeah. I'm trying to be um fit grown up. <laughs> as as we like to say around this house. Well honestly, I feel like I really had me other than Or healthy grown up. Other than the um oranges are probably my main one. Like I wanna have some some citrusy orange every day. But I really have, and, and sweets, but it hasn't been sweets. Like I, I'll usually get to a point with sweets, so I'm like, okay, it's too much. Mm -hmm. Like the even the graham cracker things I got, Imani like pre-pregnancy pro could probably eat the whole bag and be content. But like after I had the regular little serving, I was like, okay, it's, it's enough sweets. So it's not really like gorging on sweets. It's more so the citrusy, you know. So that's really all the that and ice water. So we do not know the gender yet. No, we don't. But <laughs> something like that. She thinks it's a boy, I think it's a boy. and I think it's a girl. Well, I think by the time this video comes out, we will know. We will know. No, will we? Yeah, this video is gonna come out. Okay. Oh wait, 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 no, 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 no. This video. Okay. We might no, not no, know. No, no, we Even won't, if we, we do know. or don't, we want y'all to know. give us y'all guess of what y'all think won't. it is. Yeah. But yes, we. Um, no, we, we still we're trying don't to, know. You know. As you're watching. But we're happy with whatever God blesses yeah. us with. We have the name for our young son or our young daughter, whichever one God blesses us with. So, yeah, but we don't know the gender yet. So we have a running list behind us uh, on our refrigerator. We got a list of boy side and the girl side. Where we got all our friends and family on the list. Mm -hmm. And they tell us, hey, we think it's a boy. We put that name on there. If you think it's a girl, we put your name on it. So we yeah. love y'all to drop in the comments. Y'all, It's so interesting. You know. I think it's, and we're so grateful because as you watched, if you watched the video before this, you know our story and things mm -hmm. like that. So even the fact that this pregnancy is going so well. So we had the scan, they do like a scan around 20 weeks. It's called an anatomy scan where they measure everything for your baby and um, I think look at vitals, look at their heart, look at their organs, and also look at their like limbs and stuff and see how they're measuring and how they're doing. And everything looked so good. Yeah. Like, like our doctor came in and she was just like, oh, everything is good. I was like, oh, okay, well, great. She was like, you feel great? I was like, yeah, but she was like, okay, well, right. So just so grateful to God that it's, it really is, the baby is really healthy. You yeah. know? And, and I'm healthy and I'm grateful for it because it's like, man, your whole life is growing in here and, and doing amazing, you know, especially from what we know it could be mm -hmm. and how hard it was last time. Like, I'm just so thankful that this baby's doing great. And the scan was so fun because we could see the baby moving. Waved at us. Wave, <laughs> wa rubbing little eyes and like putting the hands under the head and laying down and stuff. Like, please, my yeah. heart, I really, like, I can't even, it's so cute. Like, yeah, so it's amazing to just even, to be, even have that experience and like see, watch the child be his or herself. Like no, like they just, 
already a baby, yeah. you know? <laughs> and so it was just amazing to see even to get the ultrasound pictures and be like, wow, this is... Yeah, and shout out to the, even like the people we work with at the hospital. Um, mm -hmm. It's been amazing, you know, the people who have... The doctor. Yeah, the doctor who have helped us um, and yeah. did the ultrasound and followed up with us and been walking with us along the way. Top tier, our midwife. Yeah, they they they've done a great job of like making this experience. Top. Oh, look, there's um, a little kick right now. Such a blessing. I'm starting, so I'm starting to feel a little movement. Dexter can't feel it. I ain't feeling feel like that yet. So as soon as she had a kick, I want to know. Yeah, well, I don't think it's strong enough for you to feel. It's, they call them like flutters. No. So I feel those, but now the flutters are kind of turning into murmurs, getting a little stronger. But I think I think you might be able to feel in like two weeks or something like that. Okay, okay. Uh, but um, but even that is like, oh my gosh, like I can feel the movement. Yeah, you yeah. know, I can feel it rolling around a little bit, and it's just so sweet. It's just yeah. so sweet. What what we what we have kind of learned during this second trimester is we got to make sure she eat, all right? Because yeah. we did fast um, at the beginning of the year with our church, yeah. and we didn't go to like. We didn't put too many on guidelines on our food yeah. stuff just because we knew she needed to continue to eat mm -hmm. and um, get what she needed for her and as well for the baby. But even still, yeah. it was like, so we weren't eating like out. So even like that, that whole, that makes, naturally when you're not eating, I feel like for us anyway, we end up mm -hmm. eating less. Yeah. At, well, we did because, you know, we just eating cleaner foods and mm -hmm. naturally whatever, which is fine. But I had to eat more of that. Right. And so, and as you know, coming from like fitness stuff, used to doing meal preps and meal plans and stuff. Mm -hmm. What I usually do for the week was not cutting it. Body was like, it wasn't doing what? Headache, it wasn't cutting it. It wasn't cutting, it wasn't cutting it. it. Headaches and all that stuff. So, but now I'm learning, okay, you need to actually eat. You know, like, so that we are walking through that and eating more iron rich foods so that my iron levels can be nice and healthy. Yes. Um, so that is that too, and also like the movement. So like I haven't. I mean, everyone's different, and there's some people like do like sprints until they. I I just have been choosing to walk. <laughs> been doing a lot of like walking. Like I'll do the walk on the treadmill if it's real cold, which I really don't prefer. I really prefer to walk outside where it's hills and I can breathe in the air and all that. So walking, a lot of walking, as well as like light weights. So. Our mom got us a 10, like 10 pound dumbbells mm -hmm. and I'll do like weights with those at home, which if you know anything about dumbbell workouts, if you actually do enough reps and do the right stuff, it actually- It's burn. It's burn. Cause I was cramping up from my them 10 pounds. I was like, oh my. So, so yeah, so like mi mixing that with the walk with, with, you know, enough food mm -hmm. and a lot of water. I don't feel like I've been, you know, unhealthy or sluggish or yeah. anything. Thank God, none of that actually. And I still have had, I feel like I have room that if I want a sweet, I'll have a sweet. If I want a certain meal, I'll eat it. It's just about like anything else, like portions, making sure you don't overdo it. Yeah, yeah. But it doesn't you do need to make sure you eat. You can't be out here trying to have a diet lifestyle when this child is like, hello me. Yeah. So I just yeah. I think even um to shift a little bit, one of the I think cool things for us right now, as we're in the second trimester is we're getting ready for the decoration of the room once we find out the gender. Um, and even like our friends and family being being so excited, you know, in this walk with us and in this journey with us, that it's really just made us like feel so much love, mm -hmm. you know, from the people around us, even from God. Like mm -hmm. he's just been shower, showering us in his love through people, mm -hmm. through spending time with him, through, you know, just, the growth of the baby and mm -hmm. you know the ultrasound and just so many different things so mm -hmm. i mean it's just super amazing and exciting like we're gonna literally be putting a room together you know here in the next month or so at the end of the month or so after that we'll be getting ready for a baby shower and then a month or so after that we get ready for the baby. You know, we'll be sitting down somewhere getting ready for a baby but it's we'll like man like and even like in the season now that we're in as in preparation to be parents mm -hmm. which we're you know already kind of parents because the baby's cooking but you know a lot of times you can kind of think like man i know with me as the man mm -hmm. you know and as the husband like, all right financially you know god i need to lean on you more you know and just understand like hey you're going to provide for our family even though you know we're adding a life you know into the family god you're going to provide all those needs so it's been good to see like hey as God wakes me up every morning, you know, to come spend time with him, he's just been speaking to me and, you know, reassuring me like, hey, 
it's gonna be all right. I got y'all. Like the job situation, you know. I know you travel for work sometimes, but you ain't gotta worry about that because I got you. You know, any money, you know. Of course, want to take time off to be home with the baby right. and things like that because you gotta think about all those different things. Like, you know, we know that <laughs> everything's expensive these days. Child care and you know want to be home with the baby the first years or so or. You, you, that's important and right. that's what we're really you know just been talking through and thinking about I think mm -hmm. even like today e money she came to me like hey babe you know the one thing I want to you know make sure we instilled in, oh. in our child if it's a son you know mm -hmm. that it's okay to be comfortable you know and knowing how to express your feelings mm -hmm. and I thought I was like man that's so good and so dope that you know God put it on our heart mm -hmm. to even want to you know think about that now so mm -hmm. we can discuss and be prepared for certain things, right. you know, to like, hey, because I didn't have, you know, and know to think about that type of stuff, but, mm -hmm. you know, God put it on the heart. It's like, hey, you know, it'd be, yeah, good. But it's, yeah. I think overall and all, we can both say, you know, that God is amazing. Uh, mm -hmm. Even a little bit of a testimony, I just want to share from last night. Mm -hmm. So we, um, we, we just talking. We had yeah. dinner with a friend last night. Uh, one of our homeboys, one of our brothers. Mm -hmm. um, and we was just sitting, talking, catching up. And as we were leaving, um, he had on a shirt and said, can I pray for you? Mm -hmm. And you know, no, you wear something like that, people gonna stop you, <laughs> you know? Um, and he had the shirt on, which is one of our other friends' lines um, of what he do ministry-wise. Mm -hmm. And the, it was a group of women at the table when they stopped, it was like, oh yeah, can you pray for us? Mm -hmm. And you just never know, you know, how God will send you to a place to do dinner with somebody and yeah, our friend will choose to wear the hoodie, mm -hmm. you know, and in that moment where we're sitting there and having a discussion and just catching up and then we're leaving, you know, a moment where God mm -hmm. just like, hey, intervenes where these group of older women mm -hmm. who are believers, you know, get to chat with a younger group of believers mm -hmm. and we just get to come together and talk and they ask about the baby and like, like, how you hey, feeling? I was like, Oh, you'll be praying was, for the baby. Oh, and yeah. It's just like, man, God is in everything. Yeah, like our day to day you know. life. Like, there's just so much. I, I think what I really wanted to say is encourage everybody that God loves us all. Yeah, yeah. He loves you. He loves us. And He cares about everything. everything like, yeah. everything. Like, for the, like I said, those women were sitting at the table and they were just like, Can you pray for us? And they was just like pouring their hearts out, you know, just about how they love God and how they love each other. Yeah. And I was like, man, this is super dope, you know, because we were sitting with our friend and expressing how we love God mm -hmm. in a way, and they end up doing the same, and we all was able to come together. Mm -hmm. But I just say that to say, man, God is good, and we enjoying mm -hmm. this season and yes, everything that he's doing around us. Yeah, but it's, it's amazing to experience him in this way, mm -hmm. like, to feel the movement of the baby. Even, like, as I kept doing this and stuff, the baby's literally moving right now. <laughs> and to be able to feel that and like the bonding that that creates, you yeah. know, like being able to feel the beginnings of, of motherhood of like, wow, I'm I'm feeling this child move inside of me. Like, bruh, that's crazy. Bruh. On your own, like you out here moving on your own. Is that? Like, yeah, I love it. So yeah, and we're excited. And like next week you have an exciting baby moon. We're taking a vacation. Got out of the country for a little bit. It's yeah, be fun. So, so exciting. We're gonna vlog some of that. but. So excited about that and just so grateful. So yeah, a lot of that between Baby Moon, doing the nursery, even navigating career stuff, which sometimes it's like a little nervous, but also it's like God's already taking care of it. So it's exciting talking about cars and how we want to get a baby car and parenting things and what we want, you know, life to look like for the child and the baby shower and the new first couple months with the baby. And even, baby. it's just all Even exciting. like, yeah, financially, like yeah, sitting down with financial advisor and Stepping back to what we spending God's on them, flirting. saving in different places. Except like, this trip. This trip. Which we already been saving, you know, for the baby right. in advance, but even now saving. Shit, shifting how we're spending. Even yeah. that, that video about the, the not frivolous spending and stuff, mm -hmm. like that has helped us to like shift how we're spending. Like even like little things, like today I really wanted to get us some cookies from this, from this bakery that I love so much. But I was like, you know, we're not frivolously spending, but how can I do that? So out of our grocery budget I was already using, I got us like some little, two little quick snacks, you know? So it's like, it's just shifting those type of things I feel like will also make a big difference um, to be able to steward money better for in anticipation of the child coming. So 
all fun stuff. Life lately has been great. We've been having a good time. So, you know, definitely just want to share that <laughs> and share what we're doing. And um, like I said, we're going to be on the baby moon next week. We're actually packing up right now, actually, to go ahead and, and leave out. I'm getting braided up in the morning. Amen. Okay. I'm very excited. So we'll vlog some of that. But yeah, we'll keep we'll keep some baby more more content. Once we start working on the nursery, I definitely would have vlogged that as well. The like baby shower behind the scenes. Those are fun things. We just, you know, right now we're just chit-chatting. So we love you guys. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions or just things you'd like to chat about. Um and yeah, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Love you. Peace. Bye.